All right, so I have a practice project here and I want the toggle to be right up here in the nav bar. So I'm gonna head over to, to my components and create a new component and I'm gonna name it theme toggle. And I'm using Next.js. I also have React icons and Tailwind installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this and then head back over to my nav bar. And down here, I'm just gonna add the component in here theme toggle all right so before we write anything inside of our theme toggle component i'm gonna head down to tailwind config and right underneath this content array i'm just gonna add dark mode and just do class like that and make sure you add the comma so we can go ahead and close out of that and uh, head back over to our theme toggle and let's start creating this so first thing we want to do is actually create this, uh, make this a client component. All right, and we're gonna do some imports. We're gonna import use effect. We're gonna import use state. And we're also gonna import two React icons, FA Moon and BS Sunfill. All right, so let's go ahead and set some state. So we're gonna do a const dark mode into a set dark mode and the initial value is going to be true all right and now we're going to run two use effects uh, the first use effect uh, we want it to run whenever our component mounts and the second use effect uh, we're actually going to run whenever our state change our dark mode state changes so the first use effect let's go ahead and make that now so use effect All right, and we're gonna do a quick if check. So we're gonna do a const theme. And this is going to equal to local storage dot get item. And we're gonna do theme like that. All right, so we're just basically getting the theme set in from local storage whenever the component mounts. And then right under this, right under this, we're gonna do if theme triple equals to dark. All we're gonna do is just set our dark mode to true, All right? And this this if check basically, um, if the local storage is dark, uh, we're just basically just setting the state to true, All right? Um, and now we need our dependency array, which is gonna be empty because we want this to run whenever our component mounts. And now our next use effect, Let's go ahead and do our dependency array now. We want this to run whenever our state changes. So we're gonna do dark mode there, All right? And now in here, um, we're just gonna do an if else. We do if is dark mode. We want to do a document dot document element dot classless dot add, and we're gonna add our dark class like that all right so this is basically this just adds or remove the dark class to the um, html um root element and then under here we're just going to do a local storage dot set item and we're just going to set it set the item to a theme and dark like that all right and this um this stores the theme settings inside of our local storage and then we're going to do it else and then in here we're going to basically do the same thing uh, but we're just going to switch up a few things for light mode so we're going to just copy this and just paste this down here uh, so we got the document dot document element dot class list dot remove instead of add i'm going to remove dark and then local storage set item theme and we're going to set it to light all right so that's essentially it for our use effects and now we got to write some jsx and create our toggle so um i'm going to return a div and then make some space and this div is going to have a class name of relative 
a width of 16, a height of 8, flex, item center, and on dark screens. So now we, um, I mean, I, I believe you still have access to this, even if you don't add till in dark mode. But um, this is how you um, style with dark mode in Tailwind. You just add this little dark. When you dark, so in dark mode, we want the BG to be gray, eight, uh, 900. And then for default, it's going to be BG till 500. Uh, 500. And we also want cursor pointer. And we're going to do a rounded of full. And we're going to do a pattern of one. All right. So inside of this div, uh, we're actually going to add up something else to this div as well. So right underneath this class name, we're going to add an on click. All right. And we're just going to uh, set dark mode to toggle our dark mode. So we set dark mode and it's going to toggle dark mode like that. Okay. And in here, we're going to have our FA moon icon, FA moon. And this is just going to have a class name of text white. And we also going to give it a size of just 18. Let's see if we can see it in a second. So there we go. We got our moon there. And uh, underneath here, we're going to do another div. So we need to create our ball now. And let's give some space. We have a class name of absolute. And we know BG of white. On dark screens, we're going to do a BG of medium. Uh, medium. Uh, I don't think I added my um, my colors, actually. So let me go ahead and do that. So head back over to the config. And inside of this extend, I'm just going to extend two colors. It's going to be dark and medium. It's like this little dark uh, navy blue. So let me head back over to my theme toggle. So we're going to do BG medium and we're also going to do a width of six, width of six, a height of six, a rounded of full, a shadow MD. Uh, we're going to do a transform and we do a transition, transition, transform. And we also gonna do a duration of 300 because we want this to move. This is gonna be our ball that just goes right, left, right, left. As you can see, once we click, you see it changes because every time we click this, we're essentially changing from dark mode to light mode, but um, we, did, we didn't change up our styling yet to see it. So inside of this, um, so after this, we actually going to do some inline styles so right underneath this class name, I have a style. And make sure you do, um, you don't have to do double brackets. I normally do, but I'm gonna do dark mode. But if it's dark mode, we want to be left two pixels. And we need our else. So else is just going to be right two pixels. Like that. All right. Okay, in line style. So once we click. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like turning that color. <laughs> all right. Um, let me just make sure all this is right. Uh, do we add our BG white, BG medium, dark medium? Okay, perfect. And right inside this div, actually, we're not going to do anything inside this div because this is our ball. So let me just go back. So right underneath this div, we're going to have our BS sun fill. All right. Of clothing tag, and this is going to have a class name of margin left auto and a text of yellow 400. All right, and also let's give it a size of 18. Like that. There we go, we got our thing there. Nice. Okay, so essentially, I think we're done with the theme toggle. So now let's head back over to our nav bar and there's a few changes we got to make now that we have dark mode. So all we got to do, let's do a dark 
and we want the BG to be dark, which is the colors that I extended. Right now we're on light mode, so as we click, now it's dark mode, but as you can see our text isn't the right color now. So uh, let's head down to our text, which is here. And we're just gonna add here a dark of text white. So now we got text white there. And then on this here, we can add a dark of text white like that and now that's white and that looks good now um i don't know if you guys can see that toggle i uh, kind of i think i made it a little bit too dark let me head back over here and instead of bg medium on dark i might just keep it white um so let's just remove this just so you guys can see it there we go perfect okay um and now let's head over to our layout. But now we want to make the whole entire um, page to react whenever we click dark mode. So let's go ahead and just um, cut this out. And we're going to do brackets. I'm going to do back ticks. And put this back in. Put it back in there. So now I can add some more style into it. And the only style that we're going to add is dark and the BG is going to be medium like that. All right. And then our text inside of our page, all we got to do is just add dark text white. Nice. So now we have light and dark mode and it goes by your local storage so if you visit in the page for the first time and you have dark mode enabled on your computer um it'll just automatically become dark mode so that's the cool thing about this so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next video peace